All right, welcome to Bites by MSDN. I'm Billy Hollis, and today I have Andrew Brust, my good friend from the Microsoft Regional Director Program to talk to. And of course, I know you through that program, and I also read your column in Redmond Developer News and such. But what do you spend most of your time on? So I have this strange title, which is Chief of New Technology uh, at 26 New York. Oh, that's a new one. I don't think I've <laughs> run into that one before. So the, the journalists like to say it, CTO. I focus really on equal parts evangelism, strategy, and business development for the company, and all of that kind of hovers around whatever the new pu technology pipeline for Microsoft has in store for us, so we can get ready for it and pick, pick the winners and, and, and move on it. You've got this the perfect excuse to just go poke around in anything that the industry brings up. I out. get to play, then I get to write about it, then I get to pontificate oh, about it. It's a lot of fun. Let's go. We get to spend a lot of time thinking about it. Now, in, in the whole Visual Studio 2010 space, which mm -hmm. is kind of the active stuff, going on right now. Uh, what's your take on some of, I mean, it's, it's kind of expanding its mission, I know from talking to some of the members of the team, yep. that there's more integration, more things plugging in. What's your take on, on the importance of that? Well, watching what we saw this morning, I actually tweeted that it, it's the next version of Flight Simulator. There's <laughs> so, so much going on in there. Actually, I think I, I, I stole a little, a little quip from you there because I've heard something similar. But The, the 747 <laughs> cockpit syndrome, <laughs> right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, but, but seriously, folks, first of all, I'm actually really excited about the testing stuff that's in there. I th it, some people think it doesn't play so sexy, but I think I think it's a real sort of concrete vestige that the state of the art in software development yeah. is getting much more sort of the, the rigor of engineering. Yeah. And uh, it'll, so, so if it gets some people into it that wouldn't otherwise take the trouble to do it, sort of smooth their path, then that's a benefit. Anything that can make something kind of dry a little mm -hmm. more fun. I yeah. think usually ends up with a good result. Okay, so good. I'm excited to see all of that stuff, the historical debugger, stuff like that. Um, I think the really big story, though, is the is the SharePoint integration yeah. uh, in Visual now that's, Studio. That's, well, of course, I don't spend any time in SharePoint, but I know it's big. Right. So what, what makes that important? Why is that such a big impact? Well, I mean, first of all, there's so many other parts of Microsoft technology that are sort of moving into the the SharePoint orbit. I do a lot of work with BI. My firm does a lot of work with yeah. BI. I'm actually on Microsoft's BI Partner Advisory Council, and all the BI stuff has gone to SharePoint. Really? That's, that's been the reality for two years. Even though that's just sort of a niche within SharePoint, it's a, it's a big thing. Yeah. And more and more, it's really becoming a platform. In mm -hmm. fact, in fact, Bomber keynoted at the SharePoint conference a few weeks ago yeah. and said as much. He said it's becoming a platform like the operating system. Yeah. But the irony there is that the story around tooling for developers to get stuff done in SharePoint up till now has been has been kind tough of because Spartan. its mission it kind of expanded from the original vision. So you got to catch up to that, I guess. It's not just a portal anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's been sort of the province of people who kind of knew all the voodoo that it could do, mm -hmm. and that's a great sort of lucrative gig. But the the platform, the the product, and 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 the community and the uh, the ecology around it are growing so much that if the story doesn't get a lot better in a hurry, it'll be hard to keep fueling that growth and keep right, it on that right. trajectory. So, what we have seen, what what I saw with my own two two eyes at the SharePoint conference and elsewhere, is that the Visual Studio team and the SharePoint team have been working really closely together to get it really right. Um, with this release of Visual Studio, so that you know it's not just about a little bit of tooling for doing web parts, but the workflow yeah. support's really strong, the deployment support is really strong, uh, and the whole idea of you know using SharePoint as an app dev platform is now not just an analogy. It's yeah. not, it's it's not just you're a, not tinkering with with files all over the place. Right. You're actually doing real development the way you would with other systems. Right. It's not just a forward-looking statement anymore. Right, it's right. actually okay. actionable because we have the tools <laughs> and the designers to make it work. Yeah. yeah. Any other particular places that the extensibility in Visual Studio, you know, that, that, that you think is going to make an impact? Well, again, the testing stuff I'm excited about, um, and I think we'll continue to see just with the extensibility framework, we'll see mm -hmm. a lot more you know, third-party ecosystem innovation in, inside of that tool. I also think that what's going on with, for example, the example the Mono uh, okay. plugins yeah. to do Mono development actually right side right inside of Visual Studio on Windows, even if the deployment targets are other operating systems, um, is is quite that, exciting. That's a real departure. I mean, when we think about where Visual Studio started as its roots to to come that far, that's 
That's a Absolutely. pretty amazing thing to think about. And we have to also think about Visual Studio, not just as the IDE, but the whole ALM suite. And so the announcement about Microsoft acquiring the Team Prize clients mm -hmm. so that TFS can be a standard on other platforms as well, I, I just think that's all great news. All right, good. Thanks, Andrew. Well, thanks for listening, folks, to Bytes by MSDN. I'm Billy Hollis. Hope you've gotten a little bit of a feel for some of the new directions for Visual Studio 2010 in the extensibility space.